everybody, welcome back to the next part in my dialing in uh, dual blended amps series. So I started this, uh, I believe it was last week, uh, where I started taking two amp combinations. Uh, you know, some of my favorite amps and then seeing what I can do by combining them. So this week, I'm actually doing uh, the two, what are the two amp models here? Let me get the names right. Uh, the US Double Norm, which is a Fender Twin Amp, and the Fullerton Norm, which is one of the more recent Fender uh, tweed style amps um, that they put in in the last update, I believe. But I wanted to blend these two. My idea was to go super, super clean on the twin, a real kind of spanky clean sound on that, and then to blend in a little bit of, of dirt, but I don't even want to call it that because it's so subtle, just to underneath into the twin from the Fullerton amp, uh, just to give it a little bit of bite underneath, okay? Um, so as far as a performance video goes, I found as I was creating this, Sultan's a Swing by Dire Straits, the great Mark Knopfler kind of popped into my head. It's a song I've always wanted to kind of cover the whole song. So that performance video is up and I used this preset. Uh, there's two snapshots in that mix, uh, completely unprocessed afterwards. So what you're hearing is all the guitars in that uh, are just this preset with this guitar, my Yamaha Pacifica 612, um, with the split coil engaged in uh, the second position where I would have single coil bridge and middle pickup together. So go listen to that performance video so you can hear what this sounds like. That was a lot of fun to do. Uh, always fun to play the Knopfler style with no pick. Uh, so that was a blast. So let's dive over to HX Edit and take a look and see what we have here. So as you can see, very typical of what I would normally do, um, we have the Alley Studio comp at the end, peak reduction of 5.5, gain of 5, nothing too uh, crazy there. Uh, the Room Reverb, I went a little nuts with it. Uh, decay on 10, mix on 37%. Gave a real kind of big sound, but it worked in the mix and it sounds really good just playing by yourself too. So it was really nice stuff. I didn't really use the delay. This is the standard delay that I have. Um, always in my template. You can turn it on or off if you wanted. I just thought I would leave it in there. Uh, low and high shelf uh, EQ. Um, all the frequencies below 650 hertz I pulled back by 2 dB. All the frequencies above 2 kilohertz I boosted by 1 dB. Very subtle, but I liked what it did. Um, I didn't start with a compressor at the beginning, but once I realized I was going to use it for Sultan's a Swing, which I was not, by the way, trying to even come close to Knopfler's tone. I wasn't trying to recreate it. I, did, I made the preset first, and then I used it in the, in the uh, performance video. But I found the compressor at the beginning uh, with a threshold of minus 35 dB, ratio of 4 to 1, attack of 5 milliseconds, release of 50 milliseconds, and blending it, a little parallel style compression, um, a mix of 75%. Uh, and the level just at plus one to give it a little bit of makeup gain uh, worked really nicely to kind of fit in that Sultan's a Swing mix, okay? So that's on as well. So as we can see here, I have the new US double norm into a 212 uh, double C12N cab, the stock cab that comes up with it. 160 ribbon mic, three inches back, and I'm using the low and high cuts in the cab at 80 hertz and eight kilohertz as they come up as well. Um, here's the setting on the US double norm. The drive is at 3.7, bass is at 10, mid is at 10, treble is at 5, presence is at 0, uh, channel volume says 9.9, it's supposed to be at 10, master at 10, and I didn't touch the deeper functions on that, okay? So if we do this, if we just go over to um, the split AB and, and wrote it all to uh, the first uh, path or the A path, uh, here's what the amp sounds like. I'm going to take the reverb off, the delay is off, I'm going to take uh, this off as well. I'm going to take the compressor at the beginning off. I'll leave the compressor at the end, but that's what, here's what the amp just sounds like on its own. Very dry, right? Let me uh, pop that compressor on at the beginning. This allows the notes to pop a little bit more and be a little more even. Okay. Uh, let me put the reverb on. You're going to hear how big this is. Mm -hmm. 
So some nice verb there. I was really, really enjoying that. If I was to put this, uh, the, oh, sorry, if I put the low and high shelf on, here's what that sounds like. Did not mean to do that. Sorry, let's undo that. So here it is with that low and high shelf off. clears up a little bit of the mud, right? Gives a little more sparkle. Okay, so that's basically the tone. If I turn this delay on. Okay, but I didn't use that on at all. Okay, so there is the Fender Twin Amp on its own. Now, let's do this and we will roll this all the way over so that all we're hearing is the Fullerton Amp now. And I'll do the same thing. I'll turn the reverb off. I will turn all of this off. You'll notice there's a delay here. I'm gonna show you why in a second. I'll keep the compressor on at the end. Let me turn this delay off for a second. But here's what the uh, settings were, first of all, on the Fullerton. Drive norm at eight, drive bright at zero, bass at 3.7, tone at five treble at 10, channel volume at four, because that's just how I blended it in, just to that level. If you wanted more of this, you would just roll the channel volume up. Master on 10 and the deeper functions I didn't touch. Going into a 112 US Deluxe cab with an 87 condenser mic on it, uh, distance of two inches, uh, 80 hertz low cut, and eight kilohertz high cut, okay? So this sounded like this. Keep in mind I'm on that second position with the split coil on, so I'm kind of getting that Knopfler position that he's known for. Kind of hear how that has a nice bottom. And a kind of a bit of a breakup tone. Put the compressor on at the beginning. Put the reverb on. So nice stuff. Uh, if I bring the low and high shelf in now on that. See how it just opens up the sound a bit. A little bit of low mid muddiness there. It's gone. So I was really liking that tone on its own. Now if you notice the delay here, okay? This is a simple delay set up at a time of 10 milliseconds. Feedback is zero and mix of 100%. Now if I turn this on here, There's no difference to the sound. It's just gonna push <laughs> that 10 milliseconds forward, basically, is what it's going to do. Now, the reason I have that on, I'm gonna show you something here. When I blend the amps back together, so they're equal uh, with the path. Now, I, if you remember, I have on the twin, though, the channel volume is at 10, right? Um, on the Fullerton, the channel volume is at four, because I just blended that much in. But listen to what happens here. Uh, again, I'm gonna... Um, There's a weird phase issue going on with these two amps. When I engage this delay, there's frequencies being canceled out there because of the phase issue. The delay fixes that though. So that's those two amps blended together, all right? So again, if we hear just the twin on its own.
blend it together. See how we retain that nice crispness from the twin, but we blend a little bit of the... Now we could obviously blend more of that in if we want. I ended up at four, but what happens if we go up to five? Six. Seven. I had it down at four. What if we go a little lower? Just a little bit cleaner, right? So I found right at four here was a nice balance. And then I also have a snapshot one here where actually I just want to do this for it. I that's set incorrectly. So that gets rid of path B, and we're just straight going into the twin. So here's the twin alone. I'm sorry, I should have set that up as a snapshot. My apologies, hang on a second. That's the twin alone, and then even split here for that. Thought I had that set before, but I didn't apparently. Twin. Both. Just to add a little bit of grit underneath. So, what do you guys think of that? I was really happy with this. Really enjoying playing this. It was a lot of fun to use it on Sultans of Swing. Uh, one of my all-time favorite songs. Probably one of the earliest uh, influences I had was Mark Knopfler and I always really worked on playing his style with uh, with the, the sort of finger picking So it worked kind of nice for that. I was really enjoying that. So I hope you guys like this. This is up on Custom Tone. Go grab it for free. It's there. Uh, you blend it however you want. Make some of the changes that I did here. The, if you like it better with more grit or less grit. It's a nice tone anyways for for certain things. Um, please check out the performance video. I have that up now. That was uh, was a fun one to throw together. Came together really quick too. It was, it was just a total blast to do. Uh, and yeah, just let me know what you think of this and please uh, like the video share it if you don't mind subscribe to the channel If you haven't already hit the little notification bell uh, Sound like everybody else, right? Uh, just so that you actually can see when I put some videos up and you can take a look All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in really appreciate it really appreciate the support and I will be back soon with some more content Thanks again guys. Ciao for now